I want to hear proposition. Let's wind the clocks back a year. These cops and lawyers wouldn't dare cross any of you. I mean, what happened? Did your, your balls drop off? Hmm? You see, a guy like me... Freak. A guy like me... Look, listen. I know why you choose to have your little <clears throat> group therapy sessions in broad daylight. I know why you're afraid to go out at night. The Batman. See, Batman has shown Gotham your true colors, unfortunately. Dent, he's just the beginning. And, and as for uh, the television's so-called plan, Batman has no jurisdiction. He'll find him and make him squeal. I know the squealers when I see them. And... What do you propose? It's simple. We uh, kill the Batman. <laughs> if it's so simple, why haven't you done it already? If you're good at something, never do it for free. How much you want? Uh, half. <laughs> you're crazy. If we don't deal with this now, soon, little uh, Gamble here won't be able to get a, a nickel for his grandma. Enough from the clown! Ta -ta 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 -ta. Let's not blow this out of proportion. You think you could steal from us and just walk away? Yeah. I'm putting the word out. 500 grand for this clown dead. A million alive, so I can teach him some manners first. All right, so listen, why don't you give me a call when you want to start taking things a little more seriously. Here's my card. We've just seen the Joker try and negotiate with the mob, so let's explain the game theory. There are a couple of interesting quotations in this scene. One is when the Joker explains that he's going to kill the Batman, the mob asks him how much he wants. And the Joker explains he wants half of all their profits. The mob thinks this is a pretty funny and ridiculous offer, but they can't just simply reject him because the other element of the scene is that time is of the essence. The Joker explains that if they don't deal with the problem soon, that Gamble or anyone else won't have any money to spend at all. So the game has three components. One is the Joker and the mob are bargaining over a share of the profits in return for the Joker taking care of Batman. Another part is if they don't agree, if they can't come to an agreement, then slowly they're going to lose their entire criminal operation. Batman and law enforcement are actually gaining ground and therefore the mob is going to end if they don't come to an agreement. And this is the important part, that time is of the essence. Day by day, the Batman, Harvey Dent, everyone else is getting stronger, and the mob is getting weaker. So these three elements define an alternating ultimatum game, where the mob makes a proposal, the Joker can either reject it or accept it, he can then come back with a counter offer and so on. And each time they make a proposal, there's a discount value where day by day the profits are shrinking. This is often depicted by a tree diagram that continues between the mob and the Joker and so on. In this video, I'm not going to explain how we get to the solution. I've linked to a great video by William Spaniel and Game Theory 101 or you can read some links that I put in the description. But when you have a scene where you have a discount value and you have several alternating offers, it ends up being that the fair solution is actually about a 50-50 split to each. And this is interesting because the mob actually does agree to give the Joker half of the profits. It only turns out that the Joker has other plans for his share of the money. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can also check me out at my blog, Mind Your Decisions, or follow me on Twitter at Presh Talwalker and get my books on Amazon.